icon of the computer age has died. Steve Jobs, credited with turning Apple computers into a global powerhouse, was just 56 years old. Jobs stepped aside as the company's CEO just over a month ago and had battled cancer for years. In a statement tonight, Apple says Steve's brilliance, passion and energy were the source of countless innovations that enrich and improve all of our lives. The world is immeasurably better because of Steve. For a look back at Steve Jobs' extraordinary life and career, we have this report from the CBC's Keith Bowe in Los Angeles. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. I forgot. There is one more thing. Over the years, that became Steve Jobs' signature tease line. He'd seem about to wrap up the presentation, turn to leave the stage, and then, with practiced afterthought, remember there was just one more thing. But we do have one more thing. The one more things included the launch of the iPod Touch, the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air, and a dozen or so other Apple modifications and updates. The fact that just one more thing was originally the signature line made famous by the fictional television detective Columbo. Just one more thing. That made it all the more perfect for Jobs. He was the first to acknowledge his best ideas were often stolen. I mean, Picasso had a saying, he said, good artists copy, great artists steal. And we have, you know, always been shameless about stealing great ideas. Take the iPod. It was not the first portable media player, but it quickly became the one that defined the market. Same with the iPad, and to some extent the iPhone. What made consumers choose them over other brands was apparently their elegant intuitiveness, the way they do what they do. Jobs' early career is now legendary. He and Steve Wozniak, a computer engineer, developed their first computer here in Jobs' garage in the early 70s. They went on to found Apple together in 1976 and began building desktop computers with a truly useful business application. The company grew. Jobs at 23 was worth more than a million dollars. At 24, he was worth more than 10 million. At 25, more than 100 million. It wasn't that important uh, because I never did it for the money. Wozniak later described it as a unique time in a unique place in the history of electronics. Even then, Jobs showed a talent for showmanship and a keen understanding of why it was important. He took great care to make his personal presentation and the presentation of his product lines smooth and enjoyable right down to the packaging. He was ousted from Apple in the 80s and the company nearly died. He returned in the 90s and it began to thrive. iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. Jobs wanted to make tech tools that were fun, easy to use, elegant and useful to people who think creatively. Many would say that along the way he became the greatest CEO of his generation. Thank you very much. Keith Bogue, CBC News, Los Angeles. Senior business correspondent Amanda Lang joins us now. So Amanda, it's said that he's changed the world. Has he really? You know, he's a little bit like the Henry Ford of our generation, a, a single person who does invent something so transformational that it does change the way we work and play. So even Apple itself is acknowledging tonight that he wasn't just an amazing human being, he was the creative force and really did do something nobody else could. Well, it's been said that uh, Apple is Steve Jobs. Can they go on successfully without him? It's a big question. They've been preparing everybody for the past years that this day would come. It'll take years to see what happens on the other side of Steve Jobs. Is the only way we can we can look at it. Thanks so much, Amanda.